836 right now and Kamaina Sundays are back at Iolani Palace. Dallas Ontiveros joins us live once again from Iolani Palace with all the details. Good morning, Dallas. It's a great event for the entire family. Oh, good morning, Christine Ross. I'm so excited about this weekend. If you want some more details as to what is happening here at Iolani Palace, you could just keep watching Wake Up Today throughout this week to get those details, but also visit our website at kh12.com where you can gather more information. But we have all the information right here with our friend Anuhea Kane Ali'i, who is the Director of Learning Engagement here at Iolani Palace. Let me tell you, she is like one of the best people here to give you the history and really the insight of Iolani Palace because during the whole commercial break, I was just launching so many questions and questions and questions. But you get that all day when you get either residents or even visitors from around the world. Yes, definitely. Non-stop questions, even off the clock too. I'm getting questions, people approaching me and sharing about their family genealogy, what ali'i that they're related to. And I love people sharing their family history with me. And I know this could be a really long answer, but what makes you so proud and passionate about your culture? Whew, everything. Um, I'm so proud to be Kanaka Maoli, to be Native Hawaiian, because it is who I am, it is my family, it is what has kept our culture alive throughout the years, especially the Ali'i being leaders and being Kukulu foundations to our community and showing us the way through education, through um, community engagement with people throughout the entire world. So yeah, I'm so proud to be Hawaiian. <laughs> and, and we want to have Iolani Palace to really serve that to the people from around the world. And there's a lot of restoration efforts that are ongoing at this point. Yes, we're in the process of getting our roof fixed. We are um, revamping our basement galleries as well. The palace is so beautiful, but it still needs a lot of tender love and care. And are, I was curious about this. I asked you did this during the commercial break. Um, are there still pieces that are missing from Iolani Palace? And how's that journey like finding those pieces to really rebuild the palace in a way? Yes, the Friends of Iolani Palace, we're in a continued effort finding artifacts to bring them back home to Hawaii, to the palace. We ask people when they visit the palace perhaps to look at furniture that has King Kalakaua's monogram on it. It's two case. They're um, back to back to one another. And when you come to take the tour, then you can see the furniture and artifacts that we have. And maybe you'll find similar ones out in the world. Maybe even at Goodwill and Savers, we found a few artifacts from there. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. I mean, so you're saying that sometimes you'll just go on a Goodwill trip and maybe you could find something that belongs to Iolani Palace? Yes, you can. We have one of our curators, Jim Bartell. He had found a chair at the Goodwill and he actually got the price to be brought down because it was a little damaged. So you never know when you're going to find a piece of the palace anywhere in the world. Oh, wow. That... That's a trip right there. That blows my mind. But you know what? In less than 30 minutes, you're going to have a bunch of students come in, explore Iolani Palace. Is it going to be their first time? Yes, this is going to be their first time visiting the palace for a lot of students because of COVID. They haven't been on a field trip yet. So it's really such a great honor to not only a field trip here, but their very first field trip to experience at the palace. So we're really excited to have them. Oh, that's amazing. I mean, their reactions, I bet, are priceless. I mean, you feed off them just as they're feeding off of you when it comes to sharing that culture, that history. So thank you so much for just joining us here on Take Two. We'd love to have you on again. Yes, mahalo. Thank you so much for having me. Hope to see everyone at Kamaina Sunday from 9 to 3 here at the Palace. And make sure to bring your state ID, right? Yes, bring your state ID, bring a chair, bring a blanket to sit on, lots of water and sunscreen. There we go. And food <laughs> vendors will be here too. So many delicious foods to support local. And if you want some more details about Kama Aina Sundays here at Iolani Palace and all the great things that are happening that we've covered as well here on KH12, you can visit our website at kh12.com. Reporting over here at the scene, Dallas Anveros, KH12 News, working for Hawaii. All right, thank you so much, Dallas. And of course, bring the kids. Oh, yeah. You know? And those kids going on their first field trip, they're in for a treat. Mm -hmm. All right, coming up in our Aloha Authentic segment, four royal siblings and their contributions to Hawaiian music. Kamaka Pili will have more on these patrons of the Hawaiian culture.